Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. Today I'm with Cassandra, who's our parts manager up here in Edmonton. Um, today she's gonna be taking me through a couple different weight distribution systems. So what is a weight distribution system and how does it work? Great question, Mike. So a weight distribution system is a system that we set up with your tow vehicle and your trailer. And how it works is it levels out your trailer and your tow vehicle from front to back. So this creates a smooth ride and it improves steering and braking capabilities and less sag. So I always hear the term tongue weight. In this system, what is the tongue weight? So tongue weight is actually the downward force of the trailer's weight pushing down onto the hitch of your tow vehicle. The general rule of thumb is that 10% of the trailer weight is the tongue weight. But that's not always the case and we do recommend that you check your specs. Okay, so why is using one of these safer? because if you didn't have one of these, you'd have all this weight from the trailer pushing down on the back of the hitch of the tow vehicle. What that does is it lifts up the front end a little bit, so you lose a little bit of contact on the front end of your vehicle. So what that does is it creates problems for steering as well as braking capabilities. So when you do have one of these and it pulls them together, it levels the weight out over the axles from the trailer and the tow vehicle from front to back. So that'll also help create less sway as well. Okay, so what would cause a trailer to sway? Generally what causes a trailer to sway is overpacking uh, or improperly packing a trailer or tow vehicle. A few other ones that are uh, most common are high winds, large vehicles passing on the highway, or sometimes just inexperienced drivers. I see a couple different systems here. What's the difference between a, a bolt-on or a built-in sway control? Okay, so as you can see here, this is a bolt-on friction sway control system. It actually bolts onto the A-frame and then connects to the hitch of the tow vehicle here. So when the trailer starts to sway, this acts as a brake pad and prevents it from going any further. This has 80 pounds of rotational resistance built into this little bar. The only downfall to this one is that you do have to remove it when backing up. Um, it can cause jarring and it can bend your A-frame. If you take a look over here at these two systems, we have the E2 by Fastway and the Equalizer by Equalizer. These bars have brackets here, J brackets, and the legs that rest onto the J brackets. These two points are what causes the friction. So this, this specific one up top has two points of, of friction, which is 300 pounds of rotational resistance. If you take a look at the bottom one, you see two at the back, just like the top one, but there's also two built into the front head. And that equals 800 pounds of rotational resistance. So one of the common questions we get is, what's the difference between an equalizer hitch, a weight distribution hitch, sway bars? Really, it all comes down to the fact that they are all weight distribution hitches. Some just have friction sway built into them like this one does, and some don't. These two do have sway built in. This one doesn't have sway built in. You would have to add a friction sway control. That's the only difference. Other than that, they are all good weight distribution systems. Okay, awesome. Thanks very much, Cassandra. Uh, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer, and I'll catch you next time.